AWS has provided a template of an incident response playbook for dealing with ransomware. This is very relevant for some of the concerns that we have about our environments being compromised and encrypted without us having access to the decrypting key. It's our worst nightmare to be in that situation. And so having an effective incident response playbook is important um, if you have put all of your time and energy into the things that would prevent this in the first place. Take a look at the template and see if it can help you think through some of the issues that you might have to face if you become the victim of ransomware. The first step that you go through is gathering the evidence. You might use Amazon Detective in order to investigate and analyze what is going on in your environment. You can do time-based um, inspections to understand what occurred when and when things um, were off of normal. Uh, it kind of left the normal operational stage and you notice that that's when the anomaly occurred. The next thing that you might investigate is what resources are compromised, which buckets are inaccessible, which, which resources are showing that they can't be accessed without the proper decrypting key. Gathering all that and understanding the impact to your environment is the very important first step. From there, you would try to contain the incident. And this is where using your uh, configuration in AWS, you would isolate network resources and modify your security groups and S3 bucket policies in order to contain the incident and not allow any further compromise to occur around your resources. After that, you're going to move to the next step of eradicating the incident. This is a very difficult step when it comes to dealing with ransomware because there may not be a good option to eradicate. You need to investigate the potential of using anti-malware or antivirus solutions in order to identify where um, these malicious files are located so that it doesn't come back again. Uh, you might look at your logs in order to understand uh, which systems have been compromised so that you can put them back to normal. But many times you're going to move forward to the recover stage, which is really going to a good restore point in your backups. This is, in my opinion, the main thing that you need to do to prepare for a ransomware attack. You need to ensure that you've got a good backup strategy so that you can go to a reasonable restore point to put your systems back to where you want them to be prior to the incident that occurred. And then finally, you're going to have your postmortem and you're going to investigate how did this happen? What could we do differently? Is there some training that we need to consider? Are there uh, perimeter controls that we need to consider that would prohibit someone from doing this again? And the incident response playbook provided by AWS is a great resource to check out and use to walk through all of these scenarios that we've just discussed.